Greetings everyone, and welcome to my coin collection. Today's coins are an annual set released by the nation of San Marino back in 1980. In a previous video I looked at an annual set of euros from San Marino that contains lots of information about that country's history, and there will be a link in the top right hand corner and in the information down below. However, these coins are directly related to a significant international political event taking place in 1980. In April 1978, a coup known as the Saar Revolution took place in Afghanistan, enabling the Communist Party to take power, aligning themselves with the Soviet Union. Then, in September 1979, General Secretary Nur Mohammad Taraki was assassinated under orders of the second-in-command, Hafizullah Amin, upsetting the Soviets. Consequently, on December 24th of that year, they invaded Afghanistan killing Amin and installing Babrak Kamal as General Secretary. In the midst of the Cold War, this was considered significantly provocative. The following month, foreign ministers from 34 nations of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation adopted a resolution demanding the immediate, urgent and unconditional withdrawal of Soviet troops from Afghanistan. The United Nations General Assembly passed a resolution protesting the Soviet intervention. Because the Olympic Games of that year were scheduled to be held in Moscow, Soviet dissident Andrei Sakharov called for a boycott, a call which was taken up by the Carter administration in the United States. Independently of the US, the Islamic Conference also urged a boycott of Moscow after the invasion. The International Olympic Committee, the IOC, protested that a boycott was an inappropriate means to achieve a political end, and the victims of this action would be the athletes. Ultimately, 65 countries that were invited to the 1980 Olympics did not participate for various reasons. Qatar's recognition from the IOC came too late for it to be invited, but may well have supported the call to boycott from the Islamic Conference. Another eight nations had competitors competing under the Olympic flag or their own Olympic Committee flag because their participation was not supported by their governments. While seven nations, Belgium, France, Italy, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, San Marino and Switzerland sent athletes but did not participate in the opening ceremony. The inclusion of San Marino in that last list is particularly interesting because of the information contained in the booklet which accompanies this set of coins. San Marino had first participated in the Rome Olympics of 1960, had missed Tokyo in 1964 for logistical reasons, but had participated at Mexico City, Munich and Montreal, so this would be the fifth games featuring San Marino. Apart from this history, we also read that San Marino is present at this competition of free peoples with good reason, because the San Marinese Republic during its millennial history has never oppressed or troubled anyone, but has offered resistance against the attraction of wealth and power and has, modestly and pacifically, preserved the invaluable treasure of its freedom, followed later by the words, the inaugural ceremony with the hoisting of the flag and the parade of all the selected teams will also see the San Marino athletes taking part, a ceremony followed on the radio and television by millions of people all over the world. Clearly something changed between the production of these coins and the beginning of the games on July 19, 1980. Each of the coins features the same obverse, which is exclusive to the coins released in San Marino in 1980. The steep cliff of Mount Titano stands in the background with its three plumed towers on top. The plumed towers are the symbol of the Republic of San Marino and its sovereignty. In the sky, beside the mount, there is the legend 22nd Olympiad, 1980. Below, there are the five Olympic circles. In the middle, there is the legend Republica di San Marino. Then, clearly engraved, the coin value varying from the 1 lira coin, the 2 lira, 5 lira, 10 lira, 20 lira, 50 lira, 100, 200, and lastly, the 500 lira coin.
On the reverse, we see images of athletes on each of the coins. In the middle of the one lira, there is the slim figure of a graceful gymnast performing her exercise. The boundless empty space surrounding the theme gives it a breath of air and confers prestige and value to the composition. The two lira portrays a soccer player in a moment of maximum effort when he sees the chance, the possibility, the certainty of success culminating in his scoring a goal and a point for his team's colours. On the ground, marked by borders deepening the perspective, the long-distance walker is going at full strength and feels encouraged by the rhythm of his steps, sinewy strength, and by willpower bent on victory on the five lira. The ten lira features a noble animal as one with his rider, who supports the effort of it. Man and horse already have their hearts on the other side of the obstacle in a tilt of muscular strength, but intimately sustained by willpower, which is merely spiritual. The spasm of taut muscles on the 20 lira is expressed in an eloquent way at the very moment the pole has reached its maximum curve and is about to give the vaulter that push which, if well exploited, will enable him to vault the bar. Given that San Marino did not participate in the Winter Olympics held in Lake Placid, New York, USA that year, this 50 lira features an unusual choice of athlete. The athlete's good staying power is exalted at the very moment when, after marching for kilometres in the snow, he sees at last the end of the track and a last effort is required, the most exhausting and difficult one, but one that, in compensation, will make him victorious. The big bow is inscribed perfectly in the circle of the 100 lira coin. It is held by the man drawing the bowstring in an effort of willpower and muscles. The classical interpretation of archery is sublimated by the sculptor's enthusiasm, making a real masterpiece of this coin. Greco-Roman wrestling is portrayed on the 200 lira by two equally strong and determined men, each preparing to use on the other such strong holds as to surprise and weaken all resistance. Finally, on the 500 lira are portrayed Entello and Darete of Virgilian note who measure their strength by linking arms and whipping each other with numerous blows thrown by fists covered with hard wicker. Their chimera is victory, which justifies such violence wherein no hate lies. The history behind these coins is fascinating, and the coins themselves, along with the packaging, are very indicative of the political situation of the time. I wonder if any of this history played a part in the decision, 42 years later, by Russia to delay their invasion of Ukraine until after the Beijing Winter Olympics had ended. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these coins with me. If you have, please like the video and leave a comment down below. If you haven't already done so, you might also consider subscribing to my channel so that you do not miss any of the upcoming videos from my collection.